everybody ready? Yes, Daddy Pig! Then let's go! <laughs> this is Gabriella's village. <laughs> Here is the shop of my auntie. Can I send a postcard? Who is it for? A goldfish. A goldfish? Maybe a postcard of the sea. Yes, Goldie the fish likes water. Bongo drums, carpets, garden gnomes. Who buys all this rubbish? Tourists. Oh, hello. Buongiorno. Mummy Pig is buying lots of things to take home. Mummy Pig, we haven't got room for all this in our suitcase. Don't worry, Daddy Pig. They sell suitcases too. This is the village cafe. Ciao, Gabriela. My uncle makes very good pizza. You eat pizza in Italy? Pizza is Italian food. Oh, goody. I like pizza. A little bit of tomato, a little bit of cheese, into the oven and... Into my tummy. <laughs> Maybe we'll let them cook first, no? OK. Pepper, let's write the postcard to your goldfish. Yes. I miss her very much. To Goldie. Wish you were here. Love and kisses, Pepper. <laughs> you can post the card here. Goodbye, postcard. Fly home quickly. Pizza, pizza, pizza. Mmm, yummy. Pepper loves pizza. Everybody loves pizza. Did you like that, Teddy? Yes, it was delicious. Magnifico, Uncle Goat. There will always be a special place for your pizza in my tummy. Thank you. Ciao. Goodbye. <laughs> Peppa Pig. <laughs> Thank you, Ball Boy. Ball Boy. <laughs> oh dear, George doesn't like this game. Here are Danny Dog, Pedro Pony, Candy Cat, Rebecca Rabbit, and Richard Rabbit. Hello, everyone. Hello. Hello. We're playing tennis. Can we play too? But there aren't enough rackets. Oh. oh. Let's play something else. <coughs> Let's play football. Yes, football. <coughs> Girls against boys. <laughs> <laughs> we each need a goalkeeper. Me, 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 me. <laughs> Pedro Pony and Rebecca Rabbit will be the goalkeepers. We'll start. <laughs> Goal! <laughs> Richard Rabbit has scored a goal. The boys are winning. <laughs> <laughs> That's not fair. We weren't ready. <laughs> hey, that's cheating. You can't hold the ball. Yes, I can. I'm the goalkeeper. Go, go Rebecca, go! go. <laughs> goal! Hooray! The goal is not allowed. Yes, it is. No, no it, it isn't. isn't. Yes, yes, it is. No, what it a isn't. lot of noise. Daddy, the boys are cheating. No, the girls are cheating. It sounds like you need a referee. What's a referee? It's someone who makes sure that everyone plays fair. I'll be the referee! Me! Me! Stop! Me. Stop. Me. I'll be the referee. <laughs> the next team to get a goal will win the game. Hooray! <laughs> Where's the ball? <laughs> Quick! Score a goal! Stop them! <laughs> <laughs> This is the post box. Here are Danny, Susie, Pedro, Rebecca and Emily Elephant. They are all posting letters. And here is Peppa with her letter. There. Now what happens? Hello, everyone. Hello, Peppa. Did you get my letter about my party? Yes. And I've written you a reply. Oh, goody. My goodness, so many letters today. And 
This letter is mine. It is very, very important. Is it for me? Can I open it now? It is for you, Zoe. But it must be delivered before you can open it. That's how the post works. Oh. And with so many letters to deliver today, I'd better make a start. Can George and I come along too? Hop aboard, Pepper and George. <laughs> See you later. Pepper and George are helping Mr Zebra deliver the post. This is Zoe Zebra's house. This letter is addressed to Miss Zoe Zebra. Miss Zoe Zebra. Zoe Zebra. Zoe Zebra. Zoe Zebra. Oh, all the post is for Zoe. That's my letter. Can I post it? Certainly. <laughs> Peppa loves posting letters. Mummy, look. All these letters are for me. Oh, amazing. Can you read it, Mummy? Dear Zoe, I would love to come to your party from Danny Dog. Susie Sheep's coming to your party too. And Rebecca, Pedro, Emily, Candy, they're all coming to your party. And this letter is from me. It says, we are coming to your party. Love and kisses, Peppa and George. <laughs> Peppa Pig. This is Daddy Pig's office. Hello, everyone. Hello, Daddy Pig. Hello, Daddy Pig. Mr Rabbit and Mrs Cat work with Daddy Pig. I've brought two very special visitors with me today. Pepper and George. What an honour. Let's begin the tour. Mr Rabbit, can we start at your desk? We certainly can. <clears throat> My job is all about numbers. I take very important pieces of paper. I take a rubber stamp and I stamp the paper. Wow! What a great job Mr Rabbit has. Can I do some stamping? Of course. I'll just find you some paper. Here's some paper. <laughs> uh, maybe we should use some blank paper. Here you are. Pepper likes stamping with rubber stamps. I like doing Mr Rabbit's job. <laughs> <laughs> On with the tour. Next up is Mrs Cat's desk. Meow. Hello, Pepper and George. Hello. My job is all about drawing shapes on the computer. Ooh! Then I print the shapes out. Wow! <laughs> and here's another copy. Thank you. What a nice job Mrs Cat has. Can I have a go? Maybe it's George's turn now. That's right, George. It's your turn to do some work. <laughs> George is making blue triangles. Now we print them out. <laughs> Peppa Pig! Peppa has brought her toy boat. <laughs> and George has brought his toy boat. <laughs> Let's wind your boat up, George. George's boat works with clockwork. Quick, George, put the boat in the pond before the clockwork runs out. <laughs> George loves his clockwork boat. Mummy, can you wind my boat up? Your boat doesn't need winding up, Pepper. Pepper's boat is a sailboat. The wind makes it go along. I don't like my boat. It doesn't do anything. That's because there isn't any wind today. Maybe it just needs a little help. I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your boat along. Hooray! <laughs> it went really fast. Peppa loves her sailboat. <laughs> Here is Peppa's friend, Susie Sheep. Hello, everyone. Hello, Susie. We're playing with our boats. <laughs> I've got my speedboat. Is it clockwork? No, it has batteries. Susie's speedboat uses batteries to make it go. Ooh. What a great speedboat. Ah. Sorry, Mrs Duck. Ah. 
Here is Danny Dog with Grandad Dog. Hello, everyone. Hello, Hello Danny. Danny. My granddad has made me this paddle boat. Ooh. I say, that's impressive. How does it work? It's steam powered. I just push this little lever. Wow! What a fantastic paddle boat. <laughs> Peppa Pig. Peppa, George, look what I've made. Little curtains. Ooh. What are the little curtains for, Granny? It's a surprise. Do you want to see what Grandpa Pig has made for you in the garden? Yes, please. <laughs> <laughs> Grandpa Pig! Papa Egg! Hello, Peppa, George. Look what I've made for you. A tree house. A tree house? For George and me? <laughs> and the little curtains are for your tree house. Hooray! <laughs> Peppa and George love their tree house. Thank you, Granny Pig. Thank you, Grandpa Pig. <laughs> Who wants to go inside first? Me, me. In you go, then. Before I go in my treehouse, I must take off my muddy boots. I'm in my treehouse. I'm in my treehouse. <laughs> George, would you like to go in the treehouse, too? <laughs> Yes? Who is it? A young pig named George would like to pay a visit. Can he come in? As long as he takes off his muddy boots. George, take your boots off, then you can visit Pepper in the treehouse. <laughs> Who is it? George? <laughs> <laughs> yes? Who is it? It's Mummy Pig. Have you room for any more visitors? Hmm. You have to say the secret words. Then you can come into our house. <laughs> I see. And what are the secret words? I have to whisper them to you. The secret words are... Daddy's big tummy. <laughs> Peppa Pig! <laughs> Hello, Peppa. I'm not very well. I have red spots on my face. Has the doctor been? Yes, Dr. Brown Bear was here. He said I wasn't very well and that I was very brave. So are you really ill? Yes, yes. It's not pretend. I have to stay in bed. <coughs> Dr. Brown Bear gave me medicine that tasted really horrible. I'm coming to see you. <laughs> I'm going to wear my nurse's outfit. Susie Sheep has come to see Pepper. Susie is wearing her nurse's costume. <laughs> Danny Dog and Rebecca Rabbit have come along too. <laughs> Hello, Hello, Peppa. Peppa. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> <laughs> How do you feel? I'm not very well, Susie. I have to stay in bed. What can we do to make you better? <laughs> you could get me some orange juice. OK. <laughs> Peppa seems to be quite enjoying herself. <laughs> Thank you, Susie. Do you feel any better? A little bit. <coughs> Danny? Well, Ask my mummy if I could have some ice cream. And Rebecca, could you bring me some flowers from the garden? Dr Brown Bear is here to see if Pepper is better. Ah, good. The nurse is already here. How is the patient? I'm not a real nurse. It's just pretend. I see. Would you like me to take a look myself? Yes, please. I say, no more red spots. You're completely better. Aren't I still a bit ill? How do you feel? I think I should stay in bed a little bit more. Hmm. I fancy a game with this ball in the garden. Who wants to join me? Me, me, me. <laughs> well, I never. A complete recovery. <laughs> Peppa Pig. This is my little brother, George. <laughs> Hello, George. Hey. 
<laughs> I wish I had a little brother like George. Really? Hello, I'm Danny Dog. <coughs> Is that a dinosaur? <coughs> it's just a toy dinosaur. Grrr, dinosaur. Brilliant. <coughs> dinosaur. Grrr. <laughs> Dinosaur. Grrr. Ah, really scary. <laughs> <laughs> That's brilliant. George is my brother. He's brilliant. Peppa is proud of her little brother, George. <laughs> <laughs> Shall we show George how we paint pictures? George is not very good at painting. Well, maybe you could help him. Yes, I'm very good. I will show him how to paint a flower. George, today I'm going to teach you how to paint a flower. First, you paint a big circle. No, George, that's the wrong colour. Now you paint the flower's petals. George, that's the wrong shape. Now you paint the stalk and the leaves. Perfect. George, you have done it all wrong. Now what do we have here? I've painted a flower. That's very good, Peppa. <laughs> Peppa Pig. Newspapers go in the red box, George. <laughs> <laughs> now that we have collected enough things, we can go to the recycle centre. Hooray! Let's go! Mummy Pig has the bottles. Pepper has the tin cans. And George has the newspapers. Is everybody ready? Yes, yes Daddy, Daddy Pig. Pig! Then let's go! <laughs> recycle, recycle, we're going to recycle. Tin cans, bottles, newspapers. <laughs> recycle, recycle, we're going to recycle. <laughs> <laughs> this is Miss Rabbit's recycle centre. We're here. Hooray! Hello there. Have you come to do some recycling? Yes, we have. Jolly good. Carry on. What's Miss Rabbit doing? She's recycling all the rusty old cars. Wow. Who can tell me which bin the bottles go in? The green one. That's right. And the cans go in the blue one. Well done, Pepper. George wants to recycle the newspapers. OK, George, you can do the newspapers. <laughs> <laughs> there. That's enough recycling for one day. Yes. Let's go home. Peppa Pig. Good morning, my little piggies. Good, Good morning, morning, Daddy, Daddy Pig. Pig. I love camping. Since we're in the countryside, I thought we could spend the day looking at nature. Good idea, Mummy Pig. Let's watch a nature program. One of the wonders of nature, birds. How lovely. <coughs> shush, shush, little birdie. We can't hear our TV. Oh, Daddy Pig, there's no point being on a camping holiday and just watching TV. We can do that at home. Uh, good thinking, Mummy Pig. There are lots of fun places we can visit. <coughs> There's Tree World. What's Tree World? Tree World is a big forest full of trees. It sounds a bit boring. Or there's Potato City. What's Potato City? There's a tour of the potato fields ending with a potato tasting. Sounds interesting. Or there's Duckland. What's Duckland? It's a wide river full of ducks. 
Duckland. Let's go to Duckland. <laughs> Peppa and George love ducks. How do we get to Duckland? The camper van can guide us. Hello. Where are we going today? Duckland, please. Follow the road ahead in a straight line. Welcome to Duckland. <laughs> How many tickets, please? Two adults and two children. Enjoy the ducks! Where are the ducks? Maybe they're on holiday. Let's have our picnic lunch. <laughs> Peppa Pig. It is Peppa and George's bedtime. <laughs> Everybody, this is Teddy Playgroup. Hello. He is our special guest. You all have to make room. Grrr. Oh, and that is Mr Dinosaur. He's not very good at talking. Grrr. <laughs> <laughs> Let's take a photo for Teddy Playgroup's album. <laughs> Say cheese. Cheese. Daddy, Teddy Playgroup needs to have an exciting time tomorrow. Can we go to the North Pole? Uh, how about the supermarket? Yes. <laughs> I don't think Teddy Playgroup has ever been shopping before. It is morning. Pepper is taking Teddy Playgroup to the supermarket. Shop says everything. Oranges, apples, bananas. Very interesting. <laughs> this is the checkout, where all the food is paid for. <laughs> George wants to take a picture. <laughs> OK, George. Cheese. Cheese. <laughs> That's enough pictures, George. <laughs> Teddy Playgroup. Teddy Playgroup is missing. Daddy, you've lost Teddy Playgroup. Don't worry, Pepper. I'm sure we'll find him. Hello. <coughs> How was your day? Daddy lost Teddy Playgroup. Oh, no. But I've got a plan to find him. How are we going to find Teddy Playgroup, Daddy? First, we print out all the photos we took of him. <laughs> Grandpa Pig! Papa Pig! Hello, Peppa. Hello, George. Come and see my carrots. Grandpa Pig is very proud of his vegetables. Ooh. And here are my peas. Oh. But best of all are my lettuces. Oh, no! My lettuces! I think the birds have eaten them, Grandpa. Yes, birds. Why didn't Mr Scarecrow scare them away? Because the birds that ate my lettuces are very stupid. <laughs> What's the matter, Grandpa Pig? Your friends have been eating my vegetables again. Which friends? Tom, Dick and Harry. <laughs> Those aren't their names. Granny Pig has chickens. Wow! Say hello to Jemima, Sarah and Vanessa. Hello. <laughs> and here is Neville. <coughs> is Neville a boy chicken? Yes, Pepper. He's a cockerel. He's the worst. Scratching up my vegetables. Neville wouldn't hurt a fly. I've seen him eat flies. <coughs> and he ate my lettuce. You don't want to eat Grandpa's lettuce, do you? <coughs> Not when there's lovely corn to eat. <coughs> Come on, this way home. <coughs> Peppa, George, would you like to feed corn to the chickens? Yes, please, Granny. <coughs> Here you are, chickens. Eat up. <coughs> Ooh, you've got a Wendy house. That's the chicken coop. It's where the chickens lay their eggs. Eggs? I can't see any eggs. Not now, but there will be eggs soon. Ooh! <laughs> Peppa Pig. <laughs> Granny Pig's 
chickens. Pepper and George are having a sleepover at Granny and Grandpa's house. Granny Pig! Gangy Ig! Hello, my little ones. Bye-bye. See you later. Bye-bye, Mummy. Come and see where you're going to sleep tonight. <laughs> This was Mummy Pig's room when she was a little piggy. In olden times. And this is the bed Mummy slept on. Ooh, bouncy bed. <laughs> <laughs> You're just like your mummy when she was little. Did Mummy bounce on the bed? Of course. But Mummy tells us not to bounce on the bed. <laughs> when Mummy was a little piggy, she was cheeky, just like you. Was she? <laughs> Yes. <laughs> now, let's go and see Grandpa Pig in the garden. <laughs> Grandpa Pig! Grandpa Pig! Hello, Pepper. Hello, George. Come and see my carrots. Grandpa Pig is very proud of his vegetables. Ooh. And here are my peas. Oh. But best of all are my lettuces. Oh, no! My lettuces! I think the birds have eaten them, Grandpa. Yes, birds. Why didn't Mr Scarecrow scare them away? Because the birds that ate my lettuces are very stupid. What's the matter, Grandpa Pig? Your friends have been eating my vegetables again. Which friends? Tom, Dick and Harry. <coughs> Those aren't their names. Granny Pig has chickens. Wow! Say hello to Jemima, Sarah and Vanessa. Hello. <laughs> Peppa Pig. It is talent day. My talents are skipping, singing and dancing. I practised them all last night. I was practising watching television last night. <laughs> That's not a talent. Madam Gazelle said so. What can I do then? Who would like to show us their talent first? <laughs> Danny Dog? I can bang a drum. I can bang it louder. No, that was lovely, Danny. Hey. Pedro Pony, what is your talent? Magic tricks. Ahem. <clears throat> Here is a glass of water. It is wet and see-through. Ah. Now I will make the water disappear. Ooh. Please close your eyes. Open your eyes. The water has gone. Thank you. <coughs> Emily Elephant. I'm going to play the recorder. <gasps> and what is your talent, Rebecca? I can make a special noise. <coughs> it only works if I go up on my tiptoes. That was very good. Yes, but what can I do? Candy, what is your talent? Skipping. I was going to do skipping, but I can still do dancing and singing. My talent is singing. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. <laughs> Peppa Pig. What are you doing, Peppa? I'm learning to whistle. Oh, I see. <sighs> Mummy, can you whistle? I don't know. I've never tried. It takes a lot of practice. <gasps> oh, yes! Mummy Pig can whistle. You can whistle because you are old, Mummy. Thank you, Peppa. <sighs> George is in the bedroom, playing with his toy rocket. George, I'm learning to whistle. You make an O shape with your mouth and blow. Don't worry, George. It's almost impossible, like wiggling your ears. 
George can wiggle his ears. <laughs> Whistling is harder. George can whistle. Oh. <laughs> What's wrong, Peppa? I can't whistle, but everybody else can. Never mind. I'm making cookies. Would you like to lick the spoon? No, thank you, Mummy. Can I ring Susie Sheep instead? OK, Peppa. <coughs> Hello, Mrs Pig. Hello, Mrs Sheep. Can Peppa talk to Susie, please? Hello, Susie. <coughs> Hello, Peppa. What are you doing? I'm learning to whistle, but I can't do it yet. Hmm, that sounds hard. It's impossible. Uh, can you whistle, Susie? No. <coughs> oh, good. I mean, that's sad if you can't whistle. But good, because I can't whistle. <laughs> Peppa Pig. Mr Bull and his friends are gritting the road. The grit melts the snow. Hello, Mr Bull. Moo! Hello, Miss Rabbit. It's taken us all night, but the road is clear all the way to the seaside. That's good. We're going to the seaside. Would you like to come along? No, thanks, Miss Rabbit. We've got more roads to grit. Goodbye, Mr Bull. Bye! Have a lovely day at the beach. We're Side. The beach is covered in snow. Oh. oh! That sea looks cold. I was looking forward to having a swim. You still can. The sea's not frozen over. Come along, girls. What are you waiting for? Um, I can't swim because I've sprained my ankle. And I think I might have a cough. <laughs> Come on in, Mummy Pig. It's lovely. Are you sure it's lovely? Of course. The sea is wonderful today. OK, then. Mummy Pig is going for a swim. <laughs> is it cold, Mummy? It's a little bit cold. It always feels cold when you first get in. If you keep moving, you'll warm up. OK, I'll keep moving. Mummy Pig has run out of the sea. Let's get you dry. <laughs> Pepper, George and Daddy Pig are warming Mummy Pig up by rubbing her with towels. Oh, that's better. <laughs> are you going for a swim, Daddy Pig? Maybe not today. Who wants an ice cream? Me, me, me! Everyone likes ice creams at the seaside. <laughs> Peppa Pig. Uh, Miss Rabbit's ice cream stall. Daddy, why are you buying an ice cream? Oh, Pepper, I was on the way to the gym when I thought an ice cream would be nice. <laughs> Miss Rabbit is ill. You've got to sell the ice cream today. Ho, oh, oh, ho! I'm an expert at ice cream. Can I have a cherry ice cream? Uh, strawberry, vanilla, chocolate, banana. With pistachio and strawberry, please. Ah, strawberry. Oh, it's melted. How about ice cream soup instead? <laughs> Granddad Dog's breakdown service. Miss Rabbit is ill. Can you drive a bus today? Of course, Peppa. <laughs> All aboard! <laughs> Mummy Sheep's car has broken down. <laughs> Granddad Dog's breakdown service. <laughs> Can you rescue me, please? I'll be straight there. We would like to apologise for any inconvenience this may cause to your journey. Driving a bus is quite hard. Selling ice cream is quite hard. Running a supermarket checkout is quite hard. Uh, I'm feeling better. Can I get up now? 
No, you must lie very still, but please keep breathing. Are you feeling any better, Miss Rabbit? It's not easy doing all your jobs. It's not easy looking after your little bunnies. <laughs> Peppa Pig. George, you hide first. <laughs> One, two, three. George is looking for somewhere to hide. Nine, ten. With your knots, here we come. <laughs> George, I can see your wiggly tail. <laughs> Peppa is hiding with George. Move over, George. <laughs> Found you. Now Chloe must squeeze in with Peppa and George. <laughs> Move up. <laughs> there you all are. Now Belinda Bear must squeeze in too. Budge up. <laughs> We're like sardines in a tin. <laughs> Where's everyone gone? Surprise! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Can we stop running around now? Yeah. Let's just chill out. Chill out? What's that? We just sit around and talk about stuff. I like talking. Blah, blah, blah. Let's talk about music. I dig blues music. Um, I like red's music. I like green's music. We don't like children's music. No, no, no. no, no. no. What music are you into? I like this. It's very grown up. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. <laughs> Chloe again soon. I'm coming to your house next week, Peppa. Can, can we, we come, come along too? too? You can come, but we will be playing games. We like playing games with Peppa and George. Hooray! You can still have fun playing games, even when you're almost grown up. <laughs> Peppa Pig. Oh, my tummy. It's all that funny food you've been eating. I don't think so, Daddy Rabbit. The baby is coming. Right. To the hospital! Quickly now! Don't panic! Bye! Bye! Good luck! Did you pack everything on the list? I've got it all! Pillows, scented candles, yoga music and enough food for three days! <laughs> Don't panic! Don't panic! Anyone in? We are having a rabbit! Hello, sister. What are you doing here? I'm having a baby, remember? Oh, yes. You better come inside, then. Can I come, too? Moo! You'll have to park the car first. Don't worry. Having a baby always takes a long time. Out of the way, everyone! My sister's having a baby! A kettle and plenty of towels. This lot should last us a good few days. Oh, where shall I put all this stuff? Back in the car. We don't need it now. What? Squeak, Daddy! You missed all the excitement. Have I? Is it a boy or a girl? Both! <coughs> We've got baby twins! Wow! It is the next day and Mummy Rabbit is home from hospital. Hello! Can we see the twins, please? Of course, Peppa. <laughs> Are they boys or girls? They're both. A boy and a girl. They're called Rosie and Robbie. So you did use both names? Yes. <laughs> Rosie Rabbit and Robbie Rabbit. They're the best names in the world. And we thought of them. <laughs> <laughs> Peppa Pig. Daddy! You have to be the scarecrow. What? Oh, shoo, shoo, naughty birds. Now, stay there until the birdies go to bed. Oh, oh, OK, Peppa. All the birdies have gone to bed. Daddy Pig can go inside now. <laughs> it is morning. George, let's 
Look at our flower garden. <laughs> Ooh, baby plants. Morning. Ah, your plants have started to grow. Soon they'll have flowers on them. A little snail has come to take a look. Oh, dear. Snails like eating plants. Grandpa Pig, can you take Barbara to your garden? Um, OK. I'll take care of Barbara. It is one week later. Peppa, George, come and look. My flowers. They're so pretty. And look at George's plant. It's a beanstalk. And it goes all the way up to a giant's castle. Oh, oh no, Pepper. But it does go quite high. George's flower is taller than our house. Oh, ho, ho. George has grown a sunflower. Well done, George. <laughs> I love our flower garden. Now let's make you a vegetable garden. But that's where I sit in my chair. There are more important things than chairs, Daddy Pig. Like tomatoes, carrots and potatoes. I do like a nice potato. Daddy Pig loves potatoes. <laughs> Everyone loves potatoes. <laughs> Peppa Pig. Yes, it's my whopping ginormous dinosaur slide. <laughs> that is some dinosaur. He's a brontosaurus. Actually, the correct name is a patasaurus. You're a bit of a clever clogs, aren't you? Yes. Right, my little explorers. Are you ready for the next bit of the adventure? Yes, Granny Rice. We have to find an egg. An egg? Eggs are little. It could be anywhere. Leave it to me. Foxes love hunting for eggs. Freddy Fox has a very good sense of smell. Wow! What an egg! It's huge! Why is the egg so big? It's a dinosaur egg. Is it real? No, it's better than real. It's pretend. Watch this. The dinosaur egg has a birthday cake inside it. It's not a pretend cake, is it, Grumpy Rabbit? No, the cake is very real and very tasty. Who wants some? Me! Me! Birthday boy first. Here you go, Freddy. Happy birthday, Freddy! <laughs> Time for a bit of song and dance. Everyone, copy me. Do the stomp, do the dinosaur stomp, do the roar, do the dinosaur roar. Stomp, 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 roar, roar, roar. Do the dinosaur stomp, stomp, roar! <laughs> <laughs> I am the Queen. Miss Rabbit has fainted again. Hello, Mrs. Queen. <laughs> Why aren't you wearing a crown? I don't wear it much because it's very heavy. Are you the boss of all the world? Not quite. Do you tell people what to do? Sometimes. Can you make teachers disappear? Oh, so many questions. The children are very excited to meet you, Your Majesty. I'm excited to meet all of you. And now for Miss Rabbit's medal. Ooh. This is the Queen's Award for Industry. Thank you. Keep up the good work. Three cheers for Miss Rabbit. Hip, hip. Hooray! Hip, hip. Hooray! Hip, hip, hip. Hooray! <laughs> <laughs> now for the party. To the garden. You've got a lovely big garden, Your Majesty. Do you play in it all the time? I don't have much time for playing, no. That's sad. Oh, dear. A muddy puddle. Never mind. We can walk around it. You can't 
walk around a muddy puddle. No. No. You have to jump in it. <laughs> oh, I see. That does look fun. Here one goes, then. Stop! <gasps> if you jump in muddy puddles, you must wear your boots, Your Majesty. Oh, dear. The Queen is not wearing her boots. Whee! <laughs> the Queen loves jumping up and down in muddy puddles. Everyone loves jumping up and down in muddy puddles. Peppa Pig. I want to race too. Where's your racing car, Peppa? I don't have a racing car. Don't worry, Peppa. You can be the chief mechanic. What does that do? You fix George's car if it goes wrong. Oh, goody. <sniffs> I hope it goes wrong a lot. <laughs> Let's start the race. Three times round the garden. Ready? <laughs> Steady? <laughs> go! Yeah. And they're off. Yeah. Come, Come on, on George! George. That's the end of lap one, and George is in the lead. What's all this noise out here? I'm trying to watch television. We're having a race, Granny. That's the end of lap two, and George is still in the lead. <laughs> oh, dear. A wheel has come off George's car. Where's the chief mechanic? Here I am. What do we do? Put the wheel back. Okay, okay, Chief Mechanic. mechanic. Go, George, go! Oh, dear. George is now at the back of the race. Pedal faster, George! Come on, George! Come on, George! George is the winner! Hooray! Well done, George! You're the best racing driver in the whole world! <laughs> and you've got the best chief mechanic in the whole world, too! Yes, that's me! <laughs> <laughs> I forgot the picnic. <laughs> you can't have a picnic without a picnic. <laughs> oh, you're right there. Uh, what about me, Grumpy Rabbit? Uh, no room, Daddy Pig. I'll come back for you. <sighs> it is Mrs Duck and her friends. Hello, Mrs Duck. If you've come for the picnic, you'll have to wait for the little boat, like me. Or you could just swim across like you're doing. <laughs> Here's the picnic hamper, everybody. Hooray! <laughs> and here are the ducks. The ducks always turn up when we have picnics. <laughs> <laughs> Would you like some cheese, Grumpy Rabbit? Well, uh, I should really be getting back. Oh, I do love a bit of cheese. <laughs> <laughs> I love jelly. I love sandwiches. Strawberry. <laughs> They've forgotten me. Here's some cake for you, Mrs. Duck. <laughs> Is cake your favourite? It's Daddy's favourite too. Oh, where is Daddy? We forgot Daddy. Ahoy there! I've come to take you to the picnic. Hooray! Daddy Pig! Oh, we forgot you. But I saved you some jelly. I saved you a sandwich. And George saved you a strawberry. <laughs> How nice of you all. Is there any cake? No, we gave it to the ducks. But look! Mrs. Duck has saved you a worm. Ah, ah. Oh, oh, thank you, Mrs. Duck. <laughs> <laughs> Peppa Pig. Peppa, he is very shy. Come out, Mr. Hedgehog. Don't be scared. I like hedgehogs. They are very good at keeping slugs and snails 
off my lovely lettuce. Bye-bye, <laughs> Hedgehog. Bye-bye. Are there any more night animals, Grandpa? Yes, there are moths. Ooh, they look like butterflies. Butterflies that come out at night. They light the torchlight. When it goes off, they leave. When the light goes on, they come back. <laughs> Can I try? OK. Bye-bye, moths. Hello, moths. Bye-bye, moths. <laughs> and if we leave the torch off, we can see another very tiny night animal. Where? Look up at the sky. Is it a shooting star? No, that is a firefly. Is it on fire? Oh, no, Peppa. It has a tummy that glows. Wow! Night animals in your garden, Grandpa? No. Oh, what's that? It's a big night animal. Oh, it's Granny Pig. <laughs> there you are. Granny, Granny, we've been saying hello to all the night animals. <laughs> Lovely. But now it's time to say good night to them. Good night, night animals. <laughs> And it's well past bedtime for you little piggies. Yes, Granny Pig. Good, Good night, night, little, little ones. ones. Good night, Granny. Good night, Grandpa. Night, night. <laughs> Peppa Pig. Best spaghetti ever. You can tell you two are brothers. Alike in every way. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> We are completely different. <laughs> <laughs> Pepper, George and I are going to do a puppet show. Fantastic! Call us when you're ready. <laughs> See you later. A puppet show? That sounds fun. Have I got time for some more spaghetti? Could I have some more too? <laughs> <laughs> the puppet show is about to begin. Hello. My name is Chloe. And I am Peppa. Ah! It's a dinosaur! A scary dinosaur! Eek! Oh, I say, that's very good. Bravo! I am Uncle Pig. Hello, Uncle Pig. Hello, Peppa. Ho, ho, ho. <laughs> it looks just like you. I think they've made my tummy a bit big. Ho, oh, oh, ho. I did enjoy my lunch. <laughs> Uncle Pig, are you going to fall asleep and snore like you always do? What do you mean? Daddy says you always fall asleep and snore loudly, like this. <laughs> ho, ho, your daddy's right. I do snore like this. <laughs> Daddy Pig, you shouldn't have said those things about Uncle Pig. I don't think Daddy Pig or Uncle Pig can hear you. Daddy Pig and Uncle Pig have fallen asleep. You can tell they are brothers. <laughs> hey, what happened? Huh? Has the puppet show started yet? <laughs> 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 what does the blue button do? I don't know. Let's see. <laughs> <laughs> I love this new car. Can we keep it? No, we can't keep it, Pepper. We've only borrowed it for today. Oh? Oh, no. I think it's going to rain. Yes, I'll just put the roof up. Now, which is the button to close the roof? <laughs> Oops! Silly me! Aha! This must be the button! Ah! The new car has squirted Daddy Pig with water. <laughs> Silly Daddy, that's not the roof. This button! Oops! Not that one. This button! Ah! <laughs> ah! Daddy Pig has forgotten which button closes the roof. I don't think this car likes me. Let's try the red button. Hooray! 
<laughs> but now it's stopped raining. Can we open the roof again? Uh, yes. Which button was it? The, the red, red one! one. Hooray! Hooray! <laughs> Grandad Dog has fixed the car. Your car is fixed. Hooray! Thank you, Grandad Dog. And keep the change. Thank you, Daddy Pig. Goodbye. 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 Bye-bye. Ah, it's good to get our old car back again. I like the new car, but I like our old car better. And I think our old car likes us too, don't you? <laughs> Peppa Pig. Hello, Grandpa Pig speaking. Grandpa Pig, we've got a bit lost on the way to Windy Castle. No, <laughs> is Daddy Pig doing the map reading? <laughs> yes, Daddy Pig is doing the map reading, and he's a bit grumpy at the moment. I am not grumpy. Ho, 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 ho. This is the best route. Uh, keep on the main road until you see Windy Castle up ahead. Thank you, Grandpa Pig. We follow the main road and look out for Windy Castle. As I thought. <laughs> <laughs> look, is that a castle? Yes, it's Windy Castle. Come on, car. Come on, car, you can make it. Hooray! Pepper and her family have arrived at Windy Castle. Wow, it's so tall. <laughs> Let's go inside. The view from the top is fantastic. <laughs> wow. Look at the view. Mummy, is that Granny and Grandpa's house? Yes, it is. It's so far away. Let's take a look through the telescope. Can I look first, please? Yes, but you must let George look next. Wow! The telescope makes everything look bigger. I can see Granny and Grandpa. Look, George. <laughs> Thank you, Ig. Papa Ig. George is waving at Granny and Grandpa. Silly George. <laughs> Granny and Grandpa are too far away to see you waving. I know. We can ring them. Hello? Grandpa Pig, we can see you from Windy Castle. Wave at us. Granny and Grandpa are waving at us. <laughs> <laughs> I love Windy Castle. <laughs> Peppa Pig. <laughs> <laughs> mummy, Mummy, we all danced as swans. Peppa did very well. I had to dance beautifully and gracefully. That's lovely. Can I show you how I did it? Let's get home first. Then you can show Daddy Pig and George and me. Bye-bye. <laughs> Peppa and Mummy Pig are home. <laughs> Daddy George, I'm going to show you how to do ballet. Is it difficult? It was easy for me, but you, George and Mummy will find it very hard. <laughs> First, we need music. Good. Now, George, Daddy and Mummy, you must copy what I do. Madame Gazelle used funny words, but really, it's just bending your knees and jumping. Ah, the petit jeté. Daddy, you know the funny words. <laughs> Mummy Pig and I used to be quite good at ballet. Do be careful, Daddy Pig. <laughs> Our favourite was the pas de deux. That wasn't quite how I remembered it. <laughs> Silly Daddy Pig. <laughs> oh, maybe we should leave the ballet to Pepper. Yes. I am the best at it. I am a 
beautiful swan. <laughs> <laughs> Bunny Pig has made pizza for lunch. And here's some salad, made with Grandpa's tomatoes, lettuce and cucumber. Chuck in, everyone. <laughs> George has eaten his pizza, but George does not like the tomatoes, or the lettuce, or the cucumber. Oh, dear George, don't you like the salad? No. George, just try a little bit of this lovely tomato. Yuck! George, this is cucumber. Grandpa Pig grew it in his garden. Yeah. Try a piece of lettuce, George. It's yummy. <coughs> oh, now, now, George. <coughs> Look what I'm doing. Now it's a dinosaur. A dinosaur. <laughs> George loves dinosaurs. George is eating the tomatoes, lettuce and cucumber. Well done, George. Would you like some more, George? Full. George, are you too full to eat any more tomatoes, lettuce or cucumber? George is too full to eat any more. George, are you too full to eat anything more? <coughs> George is too full to eat anything more. Oh, well. Then you won't want any of this chocolate cake. Chocolate cake! <coughs> <coughs> My word! George seems to have got his appetite back. <laughs> Peppa Pig. <laughs> Peppa is enjoying pretending to be Mummy Pig. But George is getting a bit bored. Sorry, Daddy Pig. I'm nearly finished. There. All done. Come on, Daddy Pig. It's time you did some work. Goodbye, Mummy Pig and Daddy Pig. Goodbye. <laughs> Daddy Pig is digging in the garden. <laughs> Hello, Peppa. Hello, George. I'm not Peppa. I'm Mummy Pig. And this is Daddy Pig. <laughs> Daddy Pig is here to do some work. That's very kind of you, Daddy Pig. Now be careful. It's a very deep hole. <laughs> I hope you are not digging in your best clothes, Daddy Pig. <laughs> <laughs> I want to make big snorts too. <laughs> Ice cream, everyone. Ice cream? Pepper? George, you must take off those muddy clothes before you eat. I'm Mummy Pig and this is Daddy Pig. Are you sure? Yes. So, where are Pepper and George? We don't know. Oh, well, that's a shame because I've got their favourite ice cream here. But if we can't find them, then... Here we are! Pepper? <laughs> George? There you are. Yes, Mummy. We were just pretending to be you and Daddy. <laughs> you really had us fooled. <laughs> Peppa Pig. Daddy Pig, Peppa, and George are decorating the sitting room. <laughs> this is fun. Granny Pig and Grandpa Pig have arrived for Mummy Pig's birthday. Happy birthday, Mummy Pig. Aren't you coming inside? Oh, I can't come in yet. Daddy Pig, Peppa and George are doing secret things for my birthday. How lovely. See you later. Bye. <laughs> Mummy, would you like to come inside now? I'd love to. Close your eyes. Keep your eyes closed, Mummy. 
One, two, three, open your eyes! Happy, Happy birthday, birthday, Monday! Monday. <laughs> <laughs> what a lovely surprise! Blow the candles out and make a wish. <laughs> <laughs> mummy, Mummy, open your present. Can you guess what it is? I've no idea. Open it and see. It's a beautiful dress. Oh. You're beautiful, Mummy. <laughs> now you just need somewhere nice to wear it. What's this? Two tickets to the theatre, tonight. Thank you. <laughs> Mummy Pig loves going to the theatre. And Granny Pig and I are going to babysit the little ones. Hooray! <laughs> what a super birthday. I'm the luckiest mummy in the whole world. And the most beautiful. <laughs> 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 Careful! There's a big muddy puddle. Pepper and George love to jump in muddy puddles. Can we jump in the puddle? Please? <laughs> no, I don't want you covered in mud. Oh. Stand back, children. Please be careful, Daddy Pig. I know what I'm doing. <laughs> Please be careful. <laughs> Just a bit further, Daddy. <laughs> Daddy Pig, you are much too heavy for that branch. Nonsense. I know exactly how heavy I am. There. Hooray! Daddy Pig has rescued the kite. Whoa! Oh, dear. Everyone is covered in mud. <laughs> it's only mud. <laughs> <laughs> Luckily, Daddy Pig hasn't hurt himself. And the kite is out of the tree. Hooray! <laughs> <laughs> Mummy, now that we're all muddy, can we jump in the puddle? I suppose so. After all, you can't get any muddier. <laughs> And I think Daddy Pig is going to be doing the washing. Oh. <laughs> Pepper and George love jumping up and down in muddy puddles. <laughs> Mummy and Daddy love jumping up and down in muddy puddles. Everyone loves jumping up and down in muddy puddles. Jumping up and down in muddy puddles is just as much fun as flying the kite. Peppa Pig! Peppa and George are looking in Mummy and Daddy Pig's bedroom. George, be careful not to knock anything over. <laughs> <laughs> it's not funny. Peppa looks under the pillows, but Daddy Pig's glasses are not there. Oh. George looks in Daddy's slippers, but the glasses are not there either. <coughs> <laughs> Let's look in the bathroom. <laughs> Peppa and George are looking in the bathroom. The glasses are not in the bath. Oh. The glasses are not in the toilet. Oh. <sighs> it's too difficult. Peppa and George cannot find Daddy Pig's glasses anywhere. We've looked everywhere, but we can't find Daddy's glasses. Oh, dear. Now what can we do? I suppose I'll just have to learn to do without them. If I move slowly, I won't bump into things. There they are! Daddy's glasses! Daddy Pig, you were sitting on them all the time. Oh. <laughs> Silly Daddy. <laughs> I don't know how they got there. <laughs> I wonder how. <laughs> 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 
Well, you may have been a bit silly, Daddy Pig, but at least you're not grumpy anymore. I was not grumpy. <laughs> <laughs> Now it is Zoe Zebra's turn. <gasps> now Susie Sheep. <laughs> now Danny Dog. Row, row. That was very loud. My turn. Meow. My turn. Nay. My turn. <laughs> Pepper is the loudest. <laughs> <laughs> Emily, you try. I'm not too sure. Please, Please Emily. Emily. OK, I'll try. <gasps> My goodness, that was loud. Wow! Do it again! <gasps> <laughs> Emily is not shy anymore. Emily, would you like to play my favourite game? What is your favourite game? Jumping in muddy puddles! That's my favourite game too! Peppa loves jumping up and down in muddy puddles. <laughs> Emily loves jumping up and down in muddy puddles. This looks like fun! Yippee! Madam Gazelle loves jumping up and down in muddy puddles. <laughs> Everyone loves jumping up and down in muddy puddles. <laughs> Emily, have you enjoyed your first day at our playgroup? Yes, Madame Gazelle. And I see you've made lots of new friends. Yes! <laughs> Emily Elephant is my friend. <laughs> and Emily is my friend. And mine. And mine. And mine. And mine. And mine. <laughs> Emily, who do you like best? Um, I like... Susie and Danny and Zoe, and Rebecca, and Pedro, and Peppa. <laughs> <laughs> Peppa Pig. We are going to make sand castles. First, we fill the buckets with sand. We turn the buckets over and give them a little tap. Now we lift the buckets. Hey, presto! Richard has made a sandcastle. Hey, presto! And George has made a sandcastle. <laughs> you see, playing together is fun. <laughs> oh dear, this game has not gone very well. It was your brother's fault. He broke George's sandcastle. Squeak! Your brother broke my brother's sandcastle first. Now, now. You two big girls are meant to be teaching Richard and George to play nicely together. That's right. We're big girls. And George and Richard are too little to play together properly. Hmm. I've got an idea. <coughs> George, what's your most favourite thing in the whole playground? <coughs> Seesaw! George loves the seesaw. <laughs> seesaw. It is a bit difficult to play on a seesaw on your own. <laughs> Richard wants to play on the seesaw. <laughs> seesaw, seesaw, seesaw. Look, George and Richard are playing together. Seesaw, seesaw, seesaw. George likes Richard. Richard likes George. George and Richard like playing together. Peppa Pig. Grandpa Pig loves mending things. So many interesting bits and bobs. Oh dear, a traffic jam. Gertrude can ride on the grass. Of course! Bye, everyone! Miss Rabbit is taking a shortcut. Past the duck pond. Hello, ducks! <laughs> up the hill. Come on, Gertrude! You can make it! And to the next station. Hello! <laughs> Where 
Where's the big train? The big train is broken. We're riding Grandpa Pig's toy train today. Gertrude is not a toy train. She, she is, is a, a miniature, miniature locomotive. locomotive. <laughs> <laughs> Next stop, the end of the line. This goes here, and that goes there. Grandpa Pig has mended the big train. Good as new. Last stop! Now you can all do your important work. Hang on. It's taken us so long to get here, it's home time. Oh, back we go then. But if we travel on Gertrude, it will take ages to get home. <laughs> Hello, everyone. I've mended the big train. Excellent, Grandpa Pig. Wall change. Off we go. Stop. What about Gertrude? We can't leave her behind. Yes, Gertrude. Don't worry. We can take the toy train as well. Gertrude is not a toy. We know. She is a miniature locomotive. <laughs> <laughs> Gertrude is the best train in the whole wide world. <laughs> <laughs> Peppa Pig. You can see for miles, boss. Yes, it's very pretty. Uh, Mr Bull, could we borrow your crane for a minute? What for? My daddy dropped the car keys down the drain. Say no more. I'll have them out in no time. Mr Rhino, the crane, please. Stand clear. Down she goes. How lucky Mr Bull came along when he did. Yes, now we'll finally get our keys back. That's as far as she goes, Chief. Mr Bull is the chief. Did you find our keys? No. The crane isn't long enough. Now what shall we do? Easy. We'll dig up the road! Hooray! Mr Bull is digging up the beauty spot. Stop! What's going on? We came to see the beauty spot. Uh, they're digging it up right now. Won't be long. My daddy dropped the car keys down the drain. Oh. Hold it! Hold it! It's the keys! We've got them! Hooray! There you go! Thank you, Mr Bull. Oh, it was nothing. Uh, where's the beauty spot gone? The mountain beauty spot is now a big hole. It's a cave now. Welcome to the cave beauty spot. Ooh. All thanks to my daddy. Uh, and Mr Bull. Yes, I'm good at digging holes. Mr Bull loves digging holes. <laughs> Everybody loves digging holes. <laughs> Peppa Pig. Oh, what kind of animal is this? It is a gecko. Does he have a name? Hemidactylus frenatus. Edmund Elephant is a clever clogs. Right. And what does he do? This. <coughs> oh. Who's next? Ooh, 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 ooh. Monkey. Is he meant to be upside down? Yes. He's asleep. Oh, I see. Well, he's lovely. I've brought my pet too. Tiddles the tortoise. He likes climbing trees and... Who's the winner? <coughs> yes! Who's won the prize? Oh, the prize goes to... <clears throat> Tiddles the tortoise! <gasps> Dr Hamster has picked her own pet to win the prize. That's not fair! It's your own pet! Oh, no! This is only the prize for the best tortoise. The prize for the best fish goes to Goldie the Fish. Hooray! The prize for the best gecko goes to the gecko. Hooray! The prize for the pet who looks most like a stick goes to 
Stephen. Hooray! The prize for the best monkey. Dr. Hamster, he's not a real monkey. He's just pretend. The prize for the best pretend monkey goes to Monkey. Hooray! But Dr. Hamster, which is the best pet of all? All of them. They're all happy, healthy pets. They're lovely. <laughs> <laughs> Peppa Pig. There's Little Sprout. That's it. When you see him, shout like that. There he is. He's behind you. Where? There. Behind you. I can't see him. They're not very good at looking, are they? <laughs> there you are, you cheeky little sprout. I'm the magic fairy carrot. Look, children, I can fly. There's a string lifting her up. I can grant you one wish. What do you wish for? I wish we had a Christmas tree. Your wish is my command. Ooh. Now we can sing our Christmas song. Would you like to hear it, boys and girls? Yes! Sweet little sprout on the Christmas tree Potatoes, carrots and cranberry It's, it's a, a very, very special Christmas with all our friends Well, the magic of vegetables never ends That's the end. Goodbye, children. Happy Christmas! Happy Christmas, everybody! That was a bit quick. Wait, there's one more surprise. A very important person has come to see you all. Ho, ho, ho. Can you guess who it is? Ho, ho, ho. It's the Queen. It's Father Christmas. Hooray! Hello, children. Have you all been good? Yes! Have you all been cleaning your teeth? Yes! Have you kept your bedrooms tidy? Uh... Jolly good! Ho, ho, ho! Merry Christmas! Now, let's all sing our Christmas song. Yes! <laughs> Peppa Pig. Peppa is in charge of the lucky dip. Roll up, roll up for your lucky dip. Moo! Hello, Peppa. Hello, Mr. Bull. You've got a green face. I'm an apple. Ooh, would you like to try the lucky dip? OK. What do I do? Just pull a prize out of the barrel. Everyone a winner. Mr. Bull has won a dolly. Can I have a go? Mrs. Cat has won a digger. Oh, do you want to swap? No, no thank, thank you. you. Mr. Bull and Mrs. Cat like their lucky dip prizes. <laughs> <laughs> roll up, roll up. Freddy Fox is in charge of the mummies and daddies race. Thank you. It's all to raise money for a new school roof. I'm quite good at running. <laughs> It's not running, Daddy. It's a sack race. Oh. You have to get in the bag and jump over there. <sniffs> as fast as you can. Right. On your marks, get set, go! Oh. And they've fallen down. Oh. And they're back up again. Hooray! Oh. Hello, Daddy. Oh. <laughs> that was fun, wasn't it? Yes, lots, lots of, of fun. fun. But really, we must thank the children for all their hard work. Thank, thank you, children. children. And we have raised enough money to buy a new school roof. Again. Hooray! <laughs> <laughs> Peppa Pig. We watch your show every morning. Very good. And remember to send me your drawings. We will. <laughs> <laughs>
Peppa and her friends are at playgroup. Children, today we will do drawings for Mr. Potato. Hooray! Hooray! I'm drawing a pineapple. I'm drawing a carrot. Very good. What are you drawing, Emily? A pea. Lovely. And Pedro? It's a super potato. Oh, I see. And George has drawn a wonderful tomato. <laughs> <laughs> Peppa, what vegetable have you drawn? My daddy, watching television. Oh, excellent. Now, we put the drawings in an envelope and post them to Mr Potato. <laughs> it is morning and time for the Mr Potato Show. Please welcome your friend and man, Mr Potato! We posted some drawings to Mr Potato in an envelope. Did you get the envelope? He can't hear you, Daddy. He's on television. Oh, yes, of course. I've received an envelope full of drawings. This tomato looks very juicy. That's George's picture. <laughs> <laughs> well done, George. But this picture from Peppa Pig is my favourite. Wow! That's my picture. It shows Daddy Pig watching TV. Mmm. Looks like Daddy Pig needs some exercise. Eh? What? Come on, Daddy Pig. Let's do some jumping up and down. Oh, all right. Up, down, up, down. <laughs> Daddy Pig down. likes jumping up and down. Down. Up, Everyone down. likes jumping up and down. Up, down. <laughs> Peppa Pig. How long do we have to wait? Oh, uh, it could be a long time. I've been waiting ages. How many fires have you actually put out, Miss Rabbit? Uh, none. Not one fire. But you've got to be ready. It's the fire phone. Oh, can you answer it, Peppa? It'll probably be your daddy again. OK. Hello, fire station. Hello, Peppa. Oh, daddy, it is you. You're very naughty. This phone is for fires only. Uh, can you put Miss Rabbit on, please? There's a good girl. Daddy wants to speak to you. Hello, Daddy Pig. This phone is only to be used when there's a... Fire! Fire! Oh, dear. Daddy Pig's barbecue is on fire. Fire! Fire! Mommy's to the rescue! Whee! Whee! Hold tight. Whee! 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 <laughs> It's Miss Rabbit's fire engine. Yay! Stand back, Daddies! Mummy Dog, turn on the water. Aye, aye, Mummy Pig. The fire is out. Hooray! Hooray! Thank you for saving us, Miss Rabbit. No problem. It's all part of the service. The, the Mummy's Fire Engine Service. <laughs> and now that Miss Rabbit has kindly flooded our garden, we can all jump up and down in muddy puddles. Yes! <laughs> I love fire engines, especially when they make muddy puddles. <laughs> <laughs> Peppa Pig. Daddy Pig is home from work. Hello, everyone. Hello, Daddy. Uh, Daddy Pig, we've got a bit of a problem and, um... <laughs> Tell me later, Mummy Pig. I've got to get ready for football. Now, where's my football shirt? Here. <laughs> Don't be silly, Peppa. That's one of Mummy's dresses. It's pink. <laughs> no, Daddy. It's your football shirt. It got a bit muddy. So we washed it. And it all went a bit wrong. Sorry, Daddy. But I can't wear a pink football shirt. Why not, Daddy? Pink is a lovely colour. Hmm. What do you think, George? Yuck! George does not like pink. Here are Daddy Pig's friends, Mr Bull, Mr Rabbit, Mr Pony and Mr Zebra. Moo! Is Daddy Pig coming out to play? He'll just be a moment. 
<laughs> My team are in white. I need a white shirt. But, Daddy, you have a white shirt. Just take off your jacket. See? Fantastic. Thank you, Peppa. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Hello, oh, Daddy, Daddy Pig. Pig. Like your shirt. Very smart. Thank you. Come on, let's play football. Yes! Go! Go! Hooray! Hooray! Daddy, you've made your shirt all muddy. <laughs> of course, Pepper. Football shirts are meant to be muddy. <laughs> <laughs> Daddy Pig loves playing football. Everyone loves playing football, especially when it's muddy. <laughs> Peppa Pig! I know what we can do. We can watch some television. Oh, it won't go on. <laughs> <laughs> the TV needs electricity too. Does it? Yes. yes. Oh. Now what are we going to do? In the olden days, when there was no television, children would have to make up their own games. Hmm. I know! I need a cardboard box. What is Peppa doing? <laughs> Mummy, will you cut a hole in this box for me? What for? You'll see. Mummy Pig is cutting a hole in the cardboard box. There you are, Peppa. Thank you. Now you all have to sit down there. And George, you have to point this torch at me. Hit <laughs> <laughs> him. Welcome to Peppa Pig News with me, Peppa Pig. <laughs> Peppa has made her own television. Today, the whole world stopped working when there was a power cut and all the electricity was lost. <laughs> <laughs> Very good, Peppa. Daddy Pig says that the electricity won't be back for a long, long time. Oh! oh. The electricity is back. Hooray! Shush! I haven't finished yet. Switch the lights off. OK, Peppa. Good. Hit him. I have some very important news. The Queen has just found some more electricity and says that everyone can now be happy again. Very good, Peppa. Hooray! <laughs> Let's dance! <laughs> Peppa quite enjoyed the power cut, but she's happy the electricity is back again. <laughs> Peppa Pig! <clears throat> Bonjour, George. Comment ça va? Peppa is saying, how are you, in French. Dinosaur. <laughs> no, George. That's not how you speak French. <laughs> <laughs> it is morning. Mr Zebra the postman is delivering letters to Peppa's house. Post! Hooray! <laughs> Can I have my letter from Delphine, please? Sorry, Peppa. There's no letter for you today. I wonder who that could be. Bonjour, I am Delphine Donkey. <coughs> oh, I have come to see Peppa. It's Delphine! Bonjour! <coughs> Bonjour, Peppa. <coughs> oh, here are my maman and papa and my brother Didier. Bonjour! <coughs> oh. Here are my mummy and daddy and my little brother George. Hello! Hello. <coughs> Dinosaur. <coughs> Dragon. <coughs> 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 <laughs> Do you speak French, Mr. Pig? I'm an expert at French. Ah, parlons sport. J'adore l'équipe de foot de Paris. Quelle est votre équipe de foot préférée? Um, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Delphine, we could jump up and down in muddy puddles. Delphine does not understand Peppa. J'adore sauter dans les flaques de boue. Peppa does not understand Delphine. Everything's so Different in French, Daddy. Oh, come on, Peppa! <laughs> <laughs> J'adore sauter dans les flaques de boue. Ah, that's what I was going to show you. We call it jumping up and down in muddy puddles. <laughs> oh, J'adore jumping up and down in muddy puddles. 
Everyone in the whole world loves jumping up and down in muddy puddles. <laughs> Peppa Pig. First, you have to twitch your nose and squeak like this. Squeak, squeak. <laughs> Very good, Peppa Rabbit and George Rabbit. <laughs> Peppa likes being a rabbit. George likes being a rabbit. Rabbits like carrots. <coughs> Delicious. Nom, 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 nom. Delicious. Yuck. George does not like carrots. He won't even try them. Oh, well. More for us, then. <laughs> Rebecca, what else do rabbits like? Rabbits like hopping. Come outside, I'll show you. <laughs> <laughs> Let's hop. <laughs> rabbits like hopping. You're very good, rabbit. Lunchtime, children. <laughs> Mummy and Daddy Rabbit have prepared lunch. Rebecca has taught us how to be rabbits. Squeak, squeak! Oh, you'll enjoy lunch then. It's our favourite. Carrots. Delicious! Delicious! Yuck! George will not eat carrots. Oh dear, George. I thought you were a rabbit. Rabbits love carrots. Mmm. Wow! George is eating a carrot. <laughs> and this is our favourite cake. Carrot cake. Hooray! Mmm. Carrot cake. <laughs> George is a proper rabbit now. Squeak, squeak! <laughs> <laughs> Peppa Pig. We're taking a shortcut. <laughs> Look, there's the main road again. Well done, Mummy Pig. But we're still behind Danny's lorry. Hello. Welcome back. <laughs> oh, dear. Mummy Pig's shortcut has not worked very well. Good. Lunch is ready. And, most important of all, the potatoes are done. Lunch is ready, but Peppa and her family are still not here. Grandpa Pig speaking. We're almost at your house. <laughs> but the traffic is still moving at the speed of a snail. A very, very slow snail. They're almost here, but they're still in the traffic jam. Poor dears. The food is going to get cold. I've got an idea. I'll get my wheelbarrow. What is Grandpa Pig doing? Granny Pig, load the lunch into the wheelbarrow. Aye, aye, Grandpa Pig. If they can't come to the lunch, we have to take the lunch to them. <laughs> Look! There's Granny and Grandpa with our lunch in a wheelbarrow. <laughs> Ahoy there! Lunch is served. Is there enough for Danny and Grandad Dog to have some too? We've got enough for everyone. Hooray! Potatoes! <laughs> Good job you did lots and lots of potatoes, Grandpa. Ho, ho! You can never have too many potatoes. <laughs> Peppa Pig. Oh, it's the ducks. They always turn up when we have a picnic. We've got pretend orange juice. And we've got pretend cake. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretend cake. It's very nice. Oh, dear. I do not think the ducks want pretend cake. Oh, well. That means there's more for Monkey, Mr Dinosaur and Teddy. Mmm, delicious. Oh, oh, oh. Monkey says... The best cake ever! <laughs> Peppa, George, home time. Bye-bye, Zoe. Bye-bye. Are we all ready? Yes, yes, yes Daddy, Daddy Pig. Pig. <laughs> home time for us too, Zoe. Yes, Daddy.
cups, plates, monkey, teddy. Oh, no! You shouldn't be here, Teddy. Peppa has forgotten her teddy. Again. <laughs> Peppa and her family are home. Oh, that's enough driving for one day. All I want to do now is relax. Put my feet up and watch some... Teddy! I forgot Teddy! Oh, Peppa. Now Daddy Pig will have to drive all the way back to the picnic spot. Uh, yes, of course. <laughs> It's Mr Zebra, the postman. I thought it was your day off today, Mr Zebra. It is my day off, but Zoe's got a very special delivery for a Miss Pepper Pig. Here you are, Pepper. What is it? It's Teddy! You left Teddy behind, so we brought him home. Thank you, Zoe. Teddy certainly has had an exciting day out. But, Pepper, you really must take better care of him. Yes, Mummy. You are a very naughty teddy. You must promise not to wander off ever again. Sorry, Pepper. I promise. <laughs> <laughs> Pepper Pig, can we bury you in the sand? Uh, well. Please, Daddy. Oh, all right. <laughs> Pepper and George are burying Daddy Pig in the sand. Steady on! <laughs> <laughs> there. Now you can't escape. <laughs> my head is getting a bit hot. Can I have my straw hat? Well, if you say please. Please, can I have my straw hat? Yes, you may, Daddy. <laughs> That's nice. Oh, maybe I'll just have a little sleep. <laughs> George, let's make sandcastles. Pepper and George are making sandcastles. First we put sand in the buckets, like this. We turn the buckets upside down and tap them. And lift the bucket up. Hey, presto! A sandcastle. Hey, Pesto! Another sandcastle. Pepper, George, home time. Don't leave any stuff behind. <laughs> Let's check that we haven't forgotten anything. Towels, beach bag, sunshade and a spotty ball. That's everything. I'm sure we've forgotten something. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> of course, we forgot the hat. Daddy! We forgot Daddy! Oh, yes! We forgot Daddy Pig! Uh, uh, what? Daddy, we almost left you behind. But George remembered you. <laughs> well, I'm glad George remembered me. <laughs> Peppa Pig! Oh dear, maybe the dinosaur wasn't quite that fierce, Daddy Pig. <laughs> Sorry, George. No, the dinosaur was very gentle. It ate lots of grass. Daddy Pig! Oh, sorry. I was being the dinosaur. <laughs> <laughs> Daddy, why is the princess called the Sleepy Princess? I'm coming to that. You see, the sun set, then the stars and moon came out, and everyone got very sleepy. <sighs> but the most sleepy of all was the sleepy princess. <sighs> Peppa, are you sleepy? No, Daddy. I am not sleepy at all. But somebody is. George, wake up. You missed the end of the story. Well, Peppa might not be sleepy, but the sleepy princess certainly was. Looking at herself all day in the mirror had completely worn her out. <sighs> Let's carry you to bed. 
good night. The sleepy princess was so sleepy, she had fallen fast asleep. Thank you for that story, King Daddy. You're welcome, Queen Mummy. And our little prince and princess enjoyed it too. Peppa Pig! Peppa is the sly fox. While her back is turned, the others creep up on her. But if Peppa turns and sees someone move, they have to go back to the start. George, I saw you move. Back to the start. <laughs> Got you. I win. You moved before I was ready. The rules say I can move when I like, don't they, George? <coughs> now it's Chloe's turn to be the sly fox. Peppa and George must stay very still. <coughs> Peppa, I saw you move. Back to the start. <coughs> it's not fair. You look too long. The rules say I can look as long as I want. <coughs> Back to the start. <coughs> <coughs> George is the winner. <laughs> Can we play a different game? Yes, but as long as it's a grown-up game. I know! Let's play my favourite game. It's very grown-up. George, do you know what Peppa's favourite game is? <laughs> Peppa's favourite game is jumping up and down in muddy puddles. George, if you jump in puddles, you must wear your boots. <laughs> I've brought some boots for you too, Chloe. I'm too grown up to jump in muddy puddles. Oh, so am I. <laughs> George loves jumping in muddy puddles. Secretly, Peppa would love to jump in the puddle, but she wants to look grown up. I hear there's some puddle jumping going on. <laughs> Mummy Pig and Daddy Pig love jumping in muddy puddles. It does look fun. Yes, it does. <laughs> Maybe there's a rule that says big girls can jump in muddy puddles. Yes, that's a good rule. <laughs> Race you! Race you! Peppa and Chloe love jumping up and down in muddy puddles. Everyone loves jumping up and down in muddy puddles. Even grown-up girls. <laughs> Peppa Pig! It is bath time. Peppa wants to keep her new shoes on, even for her bath. <laughs> Peppa is in her pyjamas. She still has her new shoes on. <laughs> Peppa even wants to wear her new shoes in bed. Peppa, are you sure you don't want to take your shoes off? I don't want to ever take my new shoes off, Bobby. Very well. Good night, Peppa and George. <laughs> <laughs> Good night, Bobby. <laughs> Good night, Daddy. Good night, my little piggies. It has been raining all night, and now the garden is very wet. Mummy Pig is wearing her boots. Daddy Pig is wearing his boots. George is wearing his boots. Peppa is still wearing her new red shoes. <laughs> George is going to play in the wet grass. <laughs> oh, dear. Peppa loves playing in the wet grass, but she doesn't want to get her new shoes wet. I can't play in the wet grass, George. Oh. George loves jumping in muddy puddles. Peppa loves jumping in puddles, but she doesn't want to get her new shoes muddy. Mummy and Daddy love jumping up and down in muddy puddles. Everyone likes jumping in muddy puddles. Where is Peppa going? Peppa is putting on her boots. You must wear your boots. <laughs> Peppa Pig. This pancake is for Mummy Pig. Hooray! <laughs> you still aren't flipping them high enough, Mummy Pig. 
The next pancake is yours, Daddy Pig. So now you can show us how it should be done. Mm, delicious. Mm. <laughs> is everyone watching? The secret of making a good pancake is to flip it high into the air. <laughs> a one, two, three, whoopla! <gasps> <laughs> Silly Daddy. Oh, maybe that was just a bit too high. Oh, what a shame. That was the last pancake. It should be a simple matter to get it down. <laughs> Oh, dear. Daddy Pig cannot reach his pancake. Don't worry, Daddy Pig. I think I know a way to get it down. Let's go upstairs, children. <laughs> this way. What is Mummy Pig planning to do? On the count of three, we all have to start jumping up and down. One, two, three, jump! <laughs> What are they doing? <laughs> it worked. Now Daddy Pig has his pancake. Daddy has a pancake on his head. <laughs> mm. Syrup on your pancake, Daddy Pig. Yes, please. <laughs> One, two, three. Hoopla! Mm. <laughs> Delicious. <laughs> Peppa Pig. At last. Are we all ready now? Mr. Dogbeard, I need to go to the toilet. And me. And me. And me. And me. And me. What can be keeping them? Hello, Grandad Dog? I thought you said you were on your way. Yes, yes, we're almost there. It's taken a while to get my crew together. Anchors away! Full sail! The children have arrived at Grandpa Pig's orchard. <laughs> the game is to get that treasure without being caught. Hooray for the, the pirates! Shush, Mummy! I hope there are no pirates around here trying to take my lovely treasure. Pepper and her friends have got the coins without being caught. It's chocolate coins. Everybody loves chocolate coins. Yum, yum, yum. Ah, got you. Grandad Dog has been caught. Try and take my treasure, would you? Tis mine. I want it fair and square. Oh, no, you didn't. Oh, yes, I did. Uh, uh, thank you, Captain Hog and Dogbeard, for the lovely pirate game. Oh. You're very welcome. Uh, oh, yes. It's been lots of fun. Happy birthday, Danny! <laughs> this be the best pirate party ever! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Peppa Pig! Mummy Pig has won! Unbelievable! Here's your giant teddy! Hooray! I want a teddy like that one, Mummy. They're too big. No, they're not. Daddy Pig and George are riding on the big wheel. Hold tight now. Oh, that really is high. <laughs> Phew, I'm glad that's over. Five times round for one pound. Five times round? Oh, no. Whoa! Test your strength on the old hammer and bell. What do we have to do? You hit this button with this hammer. If the bell rings, you win a prize. No skill involved, but you need to be strong. 
I'll have a go. One pound! Bad luck! Ho, oh, oh, ho! I'm strong. I'll have a go. Stand back, everyone. Do be careful, Daddy Pig. You're not that fit. Oh, oh, yes, Daddy Pig is looking a bit tubby. What? I'm just saying Daddy Pig is a bit round in the tummy. Give me that hammer. Goodness me. I've never seen anything like it. That wins all the giant teddies we have. Hooray! Mummy, can we give these teddies to my friends? What a good idea. <laughs> Thank, <laughs> Thank you, Peppa. Peppa. Most kind. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> Peppa Pig. Has everything got a smell? Oh, yes. Everything has a different smell. What do I smell of? <laughs> You smell of flowers and Wellington boots. <laughs> <laughs> what do I smell of? You smell of wet grass and biscuits. <laughs> <laughs> what do I smell of? Bananas and jam. <laughs> what do I smell of? Milk and fish fingers. <laughs> what do I smell of? Pedro, you smell of toothpaste. Oh, what's your favourite smell? Eggs. What is the worst thing you've ever smelled? Blue cheese. Pooey! <laughs> <laughs> it's nearly dinner time. How do you know? I can smell carrot soup. <laughs> I can smell carrot soup too. And, and me. me. Dinner's ready. Come and get your carrot soup. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone is enjoying Mummy Rabbit's carrot soup. This soup is yummy. Who can that be? Mr Fox is going to take Freddy home. Mmm. <laughs> oh, I can smell dinner. Oh, Mr Fox. Hello. Hello, Mummy Rabbit. Hello, Dad. I've just had my dinner down a rabbit hole. Good lad. And can you guess what's for pudding? <laughs> Smells nice. <laughs> I'd say strawberry jelly. That's right. Mr Fox loves smelling things. Mm. Everyone loves smelling things. <laughs> <laughs> Peppa Pig. First, we rolled the clay into a long worm like this. It's a wriggly worm. I'm a wiggly worm, I'm a wiggly worm, I'm made of clay, what shall I make today? I'm a wiggly worm. <laughs> we wrap it round and round like this. It's a bit bumpy. Now I smooth it out with my hands and I add a handle. <laughs> it's a cup. Now we have two cups. Yes, but a tea set needs more than two cups. We'll all make cups. Yes. <laughs> dinosaur. George has made a dinosaur. George always makes dinosaurs. <laughs> oh, what a scary dinosaur. <laughs> Now we need to bake the tea set in a kiln. A kiln is an oven that cooks the clay and makes it hard. The tea set should be ready. Hooray! Now we paint them. <laughs> the children are painting the tea set. Lovely bright colours. The tea set is finished. Now we can have our tea party. There's a cup for everyone. Oh. We forgot to make a teapot. I know. George's dinosaur can be the teapot. Yes. Let's fill it with water. <laughs> <laughs> this is the best tea set in the world. Everybody knows that all the finest tea sets have a dinosaur in them. Teapot! 